pursuit of knowing right from wrong. I can't imagine that even the most hardcore gangbanger, whatever the fuck they've been through that got him there, doesn't understand, doesn't comprehend that there is consequence, that there is right and wrong when you pull a gun out and shoot a cop in the fucking face. M most, I most criminals, I'll say this, most crooks don't shoot cops. It, it, even the mob, the, the <laughs> only reason the mob didn't do it was because of the of the heat it brought. They were more organized than, say, you know, some guy on parole or two mm. fucking gangs shooting it out. The mob was, because they're typically older people in the mob, they were more organized, they had a business sense. But if, if, the, if shooting cops would not have brought the heat down and shut down businesses, yeah. the mob would have probably killed 50 times the amount of cops they killed. But it was simply a business decision. If we kill cops, more of them there, show up. There's this knee-jerk emotional reaction to a, a man sitting in a vehicle he has wants and warrants on himself, and the cops are going to bring him in, and he makes a conscious decision that I'm not going to let them take me to jail. I'm going to shoot them both in the head and kill them. He's got to know I that totally that isn't right. Yeah. I, I have I, to believe I, at least that. I to Listen, Ant, I totally agree with you, but th like I said, you're talking about people who have no self-worth, okay? The whole fact of, of the guy shooting the cop in the face because he's going to go back to jail means that he doesn't believe that his self has any, has any worth in this planet. You know, all he can do is, is continue to, to welch off the system and, you know, until he gets locked up again. Well, then, I, I can't... It's a liberating cycle. It's not, it, ne it never comes back to, to focus and reality for these people. Well, unless never... something is done within the community, not Whitey helping or fucking government intervention or social programs, someone's got to wake the fuck up in the black community and really realize that there's a giant problem that is being perpetuated by generation after generation of the same mistakes being made over and over again that are just pumping out um, a, a horrible element. I can't yeah. believe two cops got caught, like, even with political correctness, and cops have to be polite now and have to do exactly. things to worry about. I think that's a problem. But two, no, yeah. two guys don't usually get caught like that, like making such... I understand, a glaring yeah, error there. Right, but listen, look at it this way. You never, you never hear, like, uh, Haitian Americans or people that have come, come to this country and flourish, just like the Italian Americans, just like uh -huh. all these other people. Uh, my, my parents came here with nothing. They had nothing. And they made stuff, and they made sure that I knew that going this route would definitely end me in peril. And guess what? I kept my head on straight. I could have easily, I mean, I grew up in Brownsville, Brooklyn. I could have easily yep. been a blood, banging with these guys, you know, like, but every day I went to school. I kept my head down, kept, See, kept moving good. in the right direction. And that's exactly what a lot of people need to do is separate themselves from that, that gang mentality. But, and and that's, that's what I want to say also. I want it because I get shit for this all the time. I'm not generalizing i'm not saying every black person is uh the example i'm using uh i'm just i'm just saying there's a disproportionate number and it really needs to be addressed um i i you know great good for you i'm glad that you were able to uh to get yourself out of that shit um and 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 uh make a life for yourself and i'm sure there are plenty of other people uh, black people that that have done the same thing. I understand that. I just can't deal with this mindset and disproportionate number where shooting fucking police officers and killing each other over nothing is is, right. is fine. It's got to be addressed. Right. It's got to be addressed. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I love your show, Jim. We'll try to come check you out at the Bogota. Yeah, oh, I wasn't right going to mention that. I was trying to keep that quiet. Oh. Oh.